Hello, good evening, um, um, Honorable Roxy Nelson. Uh, the, 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 the news from Uganda obviously is concerning for a lot of people in Ghana and U.S. should should be, you for you especially as a member of parliament, given Ghana's economic position right now, Ghana passes this bill, now inflows from the World Bank seizes. That would put a country in a very precarious situation, wouldn't it? Hello, um, good evening. Good evening to your listeners and uh, viewers if we are on TV. Hello, uh, their name is Dafa Makpo. Dafa Makpo. Dafa Makpo. Dafa Makpo. I, I, I appreciate that. Dafa Makpo. <laughs> Not Dafia Makpo, as others say, no. but the real name is Dafa Makpo. <laughs> you, you eat okra, so you should be able to do that. I concede. Yes. Yeah. Now, Hello, um, it's, um, it's a matter that um, should bother the entire of Africa. It's a matter that should bother the entire world. Um, Ghana, Uganda, as it were, is not the is not the first country on earth to have promulgated an anti-LGBT law. Hungary is there. Uh, there are some very serious anti-LGBT laws in Georgia, and and I hear Poland, and of course Russia, and of course China. So why is the World Bank not threatening these countries with? Um, with withdrawing um, assistance, as it were, to, to these nations if they care to request one from the World Bank. Except because it's Africa, and then two, um, it's also may used as an intimidation tactic to cower um, Uganda and, of course, Ghana into submission. But we are resolved, as it were, to answer your question, we are resolved as a nation uh, to pass this legislation into law, we a sovereign country. We may have our economic challenges, but if the World Bank says they won't give us money, we will be able to to do other things and survive as a people. We will not sell our best right for a pita. But the countries you mentioned, I mean, Poland, China, Russia, etc., these are countries with some economic might, and they don't really... Uh, need a World Bank as Ghana and Africa uh, would need them. So if you, if you go to someone begging, you should be ready to play by the person's rules, shouldn't you? So so if the World Bank says that it is part of their standards, as it were, for us to eat human flesh, we will say that because it's World Bank standard, we should be, be compelled to eat human flesh, even though it, it, it's inhuman, it's, it's uncultural it's to us. We will not be compelled by economic circumstances to accept what is what is uncultural, what is what is unacceptable to our cultural and, and, and social values in Africa. Africa has 54 countries or nations as part of the World Bank Group. I think as, as I think as a continent, it is time that we get together and begin to champion a common cause. If we do that. Then, in, then parasitical institutions like the World Bank or the IMF or such other institutions cannot call our bluff that if we are minded to pass legislation that is suitable to our circumstances, we should be punished for it. Why are they not withdrawing, withdrawing support to, 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 to Saudi Arabia or to such other very serious Muslim-dominated countries? Why? <laughs> I see. Well, we will see. We we'll see how um, things unfold. So, I mean, just for some updates on the bill, we are at the yeah. consideration stage. Parliament is on yeah. recess. Uh, yeah. What happens next when we come back from recess? What what, what happens yeah. next? What well, happen when we come back from recess? It will be it will be considered with dispatch and with some alacrity. Uh, uh, you recall that um, uh, in the during the truce of uh, going on recess, a lot of legislations that were at very various stages of being passed into into law, it had to be jostling for attention, and so uh, we considered particularly those that are not very long in terms of um, the the number of provisions. So the 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 criminal amendment act, for instance, had been passed. The one the one that that prescribes the death, the death penalty, the one dealing with the witches come. Um, and I believe some other legislation as the UNESCO, the UNESCO bill, uh, brought by Minister of Education, uh, the Attorney General's own bill. So 
those ones that are not heavy in terms of content, we found time to deal with them, to take them off the other paper. So that when we return in October, the heavier ones like the interstate suspension uh, bill as well as our own bill, that is the subject of this discussion, will be, will be given focus. I see. So the assurance is that by end of this year, we will have this bill passed into law and secure presidential accent? Very well. Thank you so much. Uh, the Honorable Roxin Nelson Dafamakbo, Member of Parliament for South Dai and a proponent of the uh, anti-LGBT bill currently in Parliament.